am going to scroll over here on my iPad just to make sure everything looks good. As you are hopping on, let me know you're on so that I can say hello to you. Okay, it looks like we're up and going. Hello anyone watching on YouTube and Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Mallory and I will be sharing today's devotional. It shows a few people hopping on this morning, but I can't quite see who. So, Xavier, good morning. Thank you for being so faithful and watching. Hi, Lainey. So, as you're hopping on, let me know where you're watching from and drop in the comments below any fun plans you may have this weekend. It's beautiful fall weather and I'm loving it. Good morning, Kaisha. Good morning, Q. Miss Amy. All right. So this week we have been talking about miracles of Jesus. The miracles of Jesus. It's in the Word and it is so good to go back, read through them, and see how He worked then and that He still works in those ways now. So all this week the devotionals have been fantastic. We're going to do today and then someone will hop on tomorrow and wrap up the week of speaking about miracles of Jesus. We are vaccinating the cows tomorrow. Kaisha, where are your cows? You mentioned the other day that you have cows, but I hadn't heard of them until then. Where are your cows and are they new for y'all? Awesome. That's cool. Um, so today, thankfulness will produce miracles in your life. Watching from work, I have a full weekend of baseball. Baseball. Um, we are back. I hope you're hopping back on. Um, please reshare this. And we are going to start again. Welcome to Salt Shaker. We are talking about miracles of Jesus. As you're hopping on, like comment, share, and let me know what you're doing this weekend. We have people having a baseball weekend, vaccinating cows, and taking care of family and cleaning. It sounds like a very lovely weekend. So we are jumping into this this morning on this beautiful Friday morning. Thankfulness will produce miracles in your life. Thank you, Xavier. I am back. Thankfulness will produce miracles in your life. Thank you for sticking with me. So giving thanks to God produces miracles, breakthrough, and wholeness in your lives. And we're going to have scripture to back all of that up. So when you're expressing that gratitude, that thankfulness to God, you are giving glory to God for what he's done in your life or what you know he's going to do because he promised it in his word. So you begin to thank him for that promise. First scripture, we're going to talk about two scriptures that have to do with thankfulness and praising God. And the first one, and if you could throw up the scriptures in the comments below and any points that stick out to you, the first scripture is going to be in Psalm 92 verse 1 through 2, and I am reading out of the Passion Translation. It says, it is so enjoyable to come before you with uncontainable praises spilling from our hearts. How we love to sing our praises over and over to you. To the matchless God, high and exalted over all, at each and every sunrise, we will be thanking you for your kindness and your love. As the sun sets and all through the night, we will be proclaiming, you are so faithful. So all day long, we are proclaiming his thankfulness. Good morning, Hal. 
The next scripture is going to be in Psalm 100, verse 4, as well in the Passion Translation. And this says, I love the wording on this translation. It says, you can pass through his open gates with the password of praise. So to come into the gates to his presence, there is the password of your praise. That's what opens it up. Begin to thank God for something that he has not yet. No, I scrolled too far. Backing up. You can pass through his open gates with the password of praise. Come right into his presence with thanksgiving. Come bring your thank offering to him and affectionately bless his beautiful name. So our praise is what enters us into his presence. It is an offering from us to him, a sacrifice to his, bless his beautiful name. So the word of God says that we can see in these past two scriptures that giving thanks is a good thing. It's a good thing. We can see that. Instead of only thanking God for what he has already done, begin to thank him for something he has not yet done, but believing he will do it because he promised it, that takes an action of faith of our part to thank him that he will produce that miracle in our life. Um, an example of faith and healing uh, in Matthew, I'm going to flip there real quick. In Matthew 9, 29, when it talks about Jesus healing, opening blind eyes, Matthew 9, 29 says, Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be to you. So they came to him knowing that he could do it. And he said, do you believe you can do it? And they said, yes. So according to their faith, they were made whole. So we are jumping in to two different uh, biblical examples of thanksgiving producing miracles in people's lives. So first point is Jesus healing the lepers. And that's going to be in Luke 17 verses um, 12 through 19, verses 12 through 19. I'm going to read it in the New Living. It's 11 through 19. The New Living. And also, I want to point out some scripture in the Passion Translation. So, as he entered a village, there ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, Go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, Praise God! Hang on one minute. Okay, am I live? I need a thumbs up. I see people commenting, but I'm also getting some other feedback. Give me a thumbs up, please. And let me know that I am live. I hang on. <laughs> Sit tight just a second. Okay, I'm getting thumbs up. But I'm also getting messages that I'm not live. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, it's still freezing. 
All right, for those of you watching, I am sorry for the technical difficulty I'm having. I am going to stop it and I am going to start over. So please stay online. I will be right